a third term for President Xi Jinping um, is, uh, acts as a confirmation, if you will, that China is heading in the wrong direction, that it is moving more and more towards authoritarianism, uh, and therefore, um, you know, it, it, it's going to require um, additional separation from China, certainly uh, in strategic supply chains. Uh, so uh, that clearly is going to, I think, accelerate um, a lot of these techno-nationalist trends that, that, that I've been writing about and talking about. Alex, how do you see the U.S. perceive um, policies such as zero COVID that are business risks for something that's seen as a stable flow of um, products? Or do you see China to... Um, continue on that? And how will the U.S. deal with that going forward? First of all, they're not achieving zero COVID. And by continuing to block out Western vaccines, which are much more effective than Chinese vaccines, that's not uh, playing out particularly well um, in the international community. And it's it's just furthering increased doubt and, and skepticism uh, about the future of, of you know, China, you know, investment in China and it's causing companies to to really rethink and reconsider their in China for China um, objectives. So a third term um, uh, for Xi Jinping uh, sends all of the wrong messages to the West. Uh, it it validates that that China is heading in the wrong direction uh, from an authoritarian perspective, uh, and it's going to accelerate um, uh, decoupling trends. And it's also going to discourage companies that are, you know, that have been working to secure an in China for China strategy, uh, which in the early days actually requires an increase in investments to insulate um, those those in China operations. So um, it's not a positive thing uh, for sure, I think. And uh, the optics of it, um, again, uh, point to, uh, you know, increasingly strained uh, relations and, uh, and, you know, more uncertainty and more doubt on the part of uh, foreign companies uh, when looking at the, the business landscape inside of China. As you mentioned that this isn't a positive trend, do you see Taiwan's role increasing in that part, Alex? Any kind of uh, catalyst that is pushing uh, companies uh, either out of China or getting them to reconsider their their future policies around investment and supply chains, um, uh, you know, Taiwan clearly is an option. Uh, but as we've discussed earlier, uh, putting all of one one's eggs in one basket, meaning you know, investing only in Taiwan, um, is not really going to be the way to go. Although there will be more investment in Taiwan. That investment will have to be diversified. Taiwanese companies uh, can actually play an active role in partnering uh, in different friend shoring uh, scenarios where, where supply chains are being restructured and moved uh, and diversified uh, into other areas.